Hello, today we're going to be exploring Henri Matisse, who is a famous French artist um, who is responsible for fauvism or creating les fauves. Um, they are 20th century modern artists whose work emphasizes paint and strong color. Okay, specifically, we're going to be looking at his goldfish paintings. He made nine goldfish paintings from 1911 forward. Um, and the reason he did use the goldfish a lot is he liked them to be the focal point or the place where um, the eye goes first in his paintings. Um, that's for two reasons. Number one, this is the 1912 goldfish painting. And in this one, he put the goldfish bowl right in the middle of the picture, and the goldfish are the strongest color in the picture also, okay? And so that helps them be the focal point or where your eye's gonna go first because the colors all around it are softer, more muted color, okay? Today, we are going to be making our own version of Matisse's goldfish paintings, and we're going to be, um, using paint if you have it. I know some of you might not have paint at home, but if you have paint, we're gonna be using paint um, and a Sharpie to outline everything. If you don't have paint, you can use crayons just as easily, markers, color pencil, whatever you have for color. We're also gonna be exploring texture a little bit and a little bit of collage with the goldfish. So um, what we're going to need is um, some orange paper, either paper that you've colored orange or some orange printer paper like this to make a goldfish. We're going to need a piece of paper and a pencil. Okay, we're going to need a black crayon or a black Sharpie to do our outlining. If you have them, we're gonna need some watercolor pencils. I'm sorry, watercolor paints. Um, and then a sideways crayon, which is just a peeled crayon um, that doesn't have any paper on it that we're gonna push sideways. And because most of you, I don't have rubbing plates at home, we're gonna use the bottom of our shoe. The bottom of our shoe has wonderful texture on it. Doesn't matter what kind of texture it is. Um, and we're gonna use it to rub some texture into our fish bowls, okay? So let's get started. Um, before we start, I'm gonna talk just a little bit about complementary colors um, and the focal point or the center of the painting, okay? We already know that Henri Matisse used the goldfish in those nine goldfish paintings as the focal point of his artwork, okay? The focal point of an artwork is the place where the viewer's eye is naturally drawn first, okay? And we want that to be the case in our picture too. We wanna to put the bowl kind of in the middle of the painting and we wanna use those complementary colors. Um, I use the blue for the water and the orange for the goldfish, but really you could use any one of those three pairs of complementary colors. Okay, just for a review, the complementary colors come in three pairs. They come in purple and yellow, red and green, and orange and blue. And the complementary colors are across from each other in the color wheel, okay? So purple and yellow, okay? Blue and orange, and red and green, okay? Three pairs that we're gonna try and use somewhere in our painting. Okay, I used the red and green in the roses here. I used the blue and orange not only in my goldfish bowl, but also over here on the brick wall. And I used the purple and the yellow for the table that the goldfish are sitting on. Okay, so let's um, try and keep in mind focal point, which is gonna be our goldfish bowl today, and our pairs of complementary colors to use somewhere in the picture, no matter what we're using for color. Okay, so I'm gonna start just kind of laying out my composition. I'm going to, um, you can see I started with pencil first, and I'm gonna just trace over that with my black crayon so that if you wanna create a composition that looks like mine, you certainly can. I'm gonna start off by putting that goldfish bowl right in the middle, just like Matisse did in his paintings, okay? And then I'm gonna have that goldfish sitting goldfish bowl sitting on a nice round table, okay? I wanna give myself lots of opportunity to use those pairs of complementary colors, 
All right, so then next I'm going to um, add my upside down Y, which is gonna give me two walls and a floor, okay? These two walls or these two spaces and then a floor. Also, Matisse used, likes to use wrought iron quite a bit and he has that railing that kind of pulls you into the picture and I like that. So I'm gonna add that railing down here in this corner of my picture. And he loves pattern. He uses tons of patterns. So I'm going to put one kind of flower down here um, in this corner. And again, that's just an opportunity for lots of color. And since I'm going to be using paint today, um, I really love the uh, watercolors that my paints come in. All right, then I'm going to add the roses up here. You don't have to use roses. You can use whatever style flower you want. Um, his was his goldfish. Most of his paintings are outside in kind of a garden sort of setting. So we're kind of borrowing in that for our picture today. I'm gonna to add some leaves. And then I'm going to put in that brick wall over here, again, for an opportunity for color. Okay, so then we are going to um, need some texture in that goldfish bowl, okay? So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my sideways crayon and my shoe, okay? Most shoes today do come with some sort of texture on the bottom and I don't have texture plates at home, so I'm going to put the shoe down on the table. I'm going to put the paper on top of the shoe and then that sideways crayon, instead of using like I would normally use a crayon, I'm gonna push sideways and maybe swirl around a little bit to add not only the texture, but maybe some motion in the water a little bit, okay? And so you're gonna just keep moving that goldfish bowl on top of the textured part of the shoe and rubbing um, the texture onto the goldfish bowl, okay? When you're finished with that, you are ready to think about where you're going to use your complementary colors in the picture, okay? So in this original one, I used the red and green in the roses and um, the orange and blue, not only in the bowl, but also in this brick wall, and the table is the purple and yellow. You don't have to do those in the same places, but just think about where are you going to use your complementary colors in your picture, no matter what you're using for color. Um, my picture is ready for paint, so I'm gonna start painting in my color. Once I'm done with my color, I'm going to um, either draw my goldfish on a piece of orange paper and outline them maybe with my black marker and cut them out and glue them on. Or um, there's a goldfish, easy goldfish origami video on both my YouTube channel and my website that will show you how to make these little um, goldfish that you can use instead of the cut paper ones. Some of my students like to combine them. They like to have some of them be origami and some of them be cut paper and that's wonderful too. So no matter what you are using, whether it's the origami goldfish or the cut paper goldfish or both, please be creative and have fun with your Henri Matisse style goldfish picture. Bye.